Hello, World of Warcraft fans from all corners of the world. It's time to get back to leveling a paladin in the World of Warcraft. War, war, blah, blah, blah. World of Warcraft Classic Beta Server PVE bro. Um Yeah, let's get going. So far, it's been pretty cool. The beta feels a lot like a traditional vanilla server with a few minor exceptions. And now we are off. <laughs> oh, ah, what a world, what a world. All right. Now let's take a look at our quest log, except I hit the wrong button. Uh, escape. Take to Mabel McClure. Where's Mabel? We'll have to find Mabel. Alright, we need to remember to set Goldshire as our hearth. Now, I'm recording this video from my home in Florida, St. Pete, Florida, and I live in a very nice expensive apartment complex and i just recently as of a few days ago started to be assaulted by ants <laughs> if any of you are from florida you know that ants can be a real pain in the ass down here and so i've got some ant bait traps <laughs> literally under my computer desk here in my office and there's hundreds of ants eating it up so hopefully within a few days they'll take all this poison back and to their nest and start wiping out the whole Nest them. They're these little ghost ants. They have like a black, kind of blackish body with a clear uh, abdomen, butt, tail end, whatever. Uh, but they're really annoying because if you leave anything out, like food or soda or something, they'll go right after it. Uh, and I think what happened was I probably spilled some coke on my desk, and some ant must have came through the wall here or through the window. And once he got a taste of that soda, he he spread the word. Uh, just started seeing him a few days about I guess about three or four days ago. But the war is on, and it's a war I plan to win. God, darsh, gosh darn it. All right, so let's see. Um, yeah, so I don't see any quests here to turn in. Uh, let's take a look at our inventory. We still don't... Oh, I should have thrown a few of these things into my bank. That's all right. We'll make do. Looking for something specific? Yes, I'm looking to sell some of this junk that's in my inventory. Uh, let's sell some of these things. We still need that. Um, do we really need this malachite? We're going to get rid of some of this food. Uh, let's save the... I guess we'll save the watermelon. What is this? Invisibility. Okay. See you later. And most of those quests are... Yeah, I just don't really remember where this this one is. This to young Mabel should last long enough for her to be. Okay, well I don't really know where Mabel is. <laughs> uh, we'll find out, I guess. It's like I said, I'm so used to having Questy, and it's it's like you know you kind of remember where the quests are, but sometimes, oh, excuse me, uh, you don't always remember where the turn-ins are and stuff like that. Die, toddler. Oh, we got multiple. It's all right. I got a lot for both of you. I got a lot of more. I want to check. Um, what was I doing? Oh, we're good. track anything that's in Westfall because I'm not in Westfall so I don't understand this hogger I thought 
Marshall Dugan. I thought that was... I thought Marshall Dugan was up at Goldshire. And you know what? And I walked. I was right by Goldshire. And what did I not do, guys? What didn't I do? I didn't set Goldshire as my heart. Oh, my goodness. Well, we're going to hit this farm. If there's no quest to turn in, we'll swing back up. We'll hit Goldshire. We'll set the end there as my hearth. I was on the I was on the uh, Pantheon forums today. Oh, that reminds me. I need to delete something. Let's see. Okay, thank God. We do have one of the quests. This should be Mabel. Yes, Mabel McClure. You need something? See you around. Okay. I gave us a lot of experience actually. Um, experience modifiers, that's what I want to go to. I'm gonna delete one of these posts I had. I, I was kind of trolling somebody, and I sometimes I can be a little too. Uh, let's just say I can have a little bit too much fun. So let me. Uh, clean that up. Okay, so turn that in. Now let's hit Goldshire real quick. And set our hearth. Just angle it. Let's see if we can let's see if we can climb right through here. Give that a go. You want a piece of me? So clear our inventory out a little bit while we're on our way back here. I just wanted to test that my keybone was working correctly. And it is. Man, I've been getting potions like crazy. I got a lot of healing potions right now. Let's turn our music down just a tad here. Goldshire. I must get to Goldshire. Post haste. Ah, Pantheon's website. Pantheon's website can be so sluggish sometimes. Trying to log in. Let's go log in. I'm stuck. Can I help you? Elmore's task. See you later. Hey there. Well, blacksmithing. Yeah. No, we don't want blacksmith. For the alliance. How are you? See you around. Okay, let's set our hearth. We are level nine. Let's go ahead and hit the keeper. Good day to you. Safe travels. Goldshire is now your home. What was Dugan want? Greetings. Oh, I haven't. I. Th I thought I did kill Hogger, but I actually didn't kill Hogger. What am I thinking? I'm obviously not thinking. I 
Pledge Wars, all things Pantheon. Experience modifiers, bottlenecks. Oh, here at the end of the bottlenecks. That's where I want to clean up some stuff. I can't delete the post apparently. But we can edit the post. And what you do is you edit the post and just put delete me. Alright, that's taken care of. I had made a comment on the Pantheon forums and I was being a little trolly, so. I decided to uh, remove the part of the post that was a little bit trollish. Um, people were talking about game mechanics in Pantheon that they didn't want them to be similar to EverQuest and make the game too difficult uh, or have things in the game that would kind of prevent, put like um, bottlenecks where you had to wait for mobs that to respawn. They might have like a four-day respawn for a quest mob. And I was just like, you know, I'm fine with that. I mean... If that's the way the game is, is, is set up, and that, that's just, it's, yeah, yeah, it's annoying that, you know, people might camp the mob, and, but it's all part of the experience, you know, of, of just playing the game the way it was meant to be played, and it, it's also part of, of the lore, you know, that's, that's all, you know, it's, these mobs are part of a story, it's part of the lore, and the fact that it takes them four days to spawn is, <laughs> makes it more interesting, you know, it adds a, a, a different, a definitely different flavor to the game. I can see where people would get frustrated, but. It's no different than hunters waiting for pets to respawn for half, you know, for a day for a, sp a rare pet to respawn. So, I don't know. <sighs> Doesn't bother me. All right. So, <coughs> anyone need hogger? <coughs> I need hogger. Okay, this, uh, these birds chirping is starting to piss me off. He, he is a human mage. Yeah. I have no idea if just the two of us can kill Augur. Probably. I don't know. It's going to be difficult. We'll see. See, that's Marshall Dugan as well. So if we can kill Hogger, we'll have... <laughs> well, we'll judge Hogger with, with, uh, um, with Crusader, and then we'll throw up Righteous. Maybe we'll throw on... See, 3.8 damage per second, 2.6. Oh, shit. The cracked sledge is quite the weapon. At least it hits hard in a way. Bandages.
this server is so dead that it could be actually a little bit difficult to do some quests without I might have to level past the quest and the quests a little bit just to be able to, to do some of these. Stol uh, no, no, hammer the same as what I have, right? Oh no, wait, this is a main hand, 3.8 damage per second. Nah, we've got that. Let's try this. Let's see how much damage this guy does now that I actually almost judge him with Crusader. Let's see how this works out. We're still increasing our mace skill. I wish I had a better block. skills. So in two hand maces is 50 and mate, uh, one hand mace is just 37 so it'll take a little while to get up but You know, let's let's just put up Crusader. Increase our attack speed. I've always felt that Crusader at low levels may is probably better than than Righteous. But it's something I've talked about a lot. Something I've played around with a lot. Yeah, I don't see Hogger. Usually he's right here. Usually Hogger's either right up here to my left or over here in this group. Well, let's try to take this guy out. Casting heal myself should generate some threat.
certainly needed that. So I don't have, that's kind of interesting. How did my bar, did you see that? My bar somehow got really, really messed up. And I don't have my heel set up either, so that kind of sucks. Let's just do this. Damn it. Fucking piece of shit. Struggling. This is why I hate. God damn it. This is why I hate when they have like shift four, like switches your. It's switching to the, my fourth action bar. I hate that. Usually I get rid of that binding, but I don't have it right now, so. change this key bindings we do not want any shift for shit shift see all these no 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 unbind 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 here where is it where's shift where the where the hell did you go fuck that fuck that i hate this shit fuck that Where is, uh, okay. It's hmm. having axe of agility. I can't even use axes. Thank you. 
Use your augers right here. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know what the command is. Uh, max camera dist. I'm gonna have to look that up. My camera, we're not, I'm not able to zoom out as far as I should be able to. We'll have to see if I can find that for the, so I don't know if it's a different from the beta client though. We've completed our quest. We just need to be able to kill Hogger, except I can't find Hogger. I certainly would love to have a good sword right about now, and maybe I need better armor, like significantly better armor. And I have I have a little, I have very little money, but we're starting to get a little bit. What does it say, eighteen silver? That's a lot better than I was. I was around two silver. If I could get, if I could double that and get around thirty six silver, like I did the vendor in Goldshire, and just stock up on a little bit better blue, uh, white item. Did the guy leave the group? No, he didn't leave the group. Where'd he go? He's way over here. <laughs> I guess Hogger just isn't up. He's not up at the moment. Go ahead and fix our key bindings real quick. Uh, multi action, bottom left, shift Q. This should be shift three, shift four. Now I can actually heal this guy. Oh, yeah. huh? I see him. There he is. Tee off, buddy. Tee off. <laughs> I'm like, tee off, buddy. Tee off. <laughs> I'm like, don't wait for me. Dead. <laughs> I had him cover with a heel, but he was he got scared. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I guess he was worried he was going to die. He wasn't going to die. I don't have bops. So it's not like I can bop him. Um, but I had him with a heel there. He would have been fine. But he got nervous. He's like, no, I'm going to die. <clears throat> let's go ahead. And, you know, let's head back to Marshall Dugan. Because we have two quests to turn in. Now, I could hearth, but... We're not that far from Gold Cyrus, so I'll just walk. I mean, you know what? It's going to be a while, I mean, since we come back. So let's go ahead and hearth. I can clear me. Because I'm going to be heading back over towards Sentinel Hill, and I don't think um, it'll be a while until I want to hearth again. So I don't think it's a waste to hearth right now. What can I do for you? Okay, we got some items here that we can sell, which is nice. Uh, okay. Ooh, 48. How much better is that than. Oh, that's a lot better. Okay. 3.8, that's 2.1 that's hand. Well, don't think we need that. We can always buy it back if we want. Um, the plus one journeyman spirit. We're just going to vendor that. I think that was two hand, right? Yeah, vendor that. And this one here, 2.98. This is actually pretty nice for like a low level uh, hunter. You know, but it's all right. We that can't use good. an axe, so we may end up just vendoring that as well. And there should be a first aid one. What am I mean? I've already got first aid. Let's go ahead, and there's still. Yeah. Let's turn this quest in. This will get us to... Well met. Let's get us to level 10. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's epic. That's legendary. The Stormwind Guard Leg Guards. Level 10. Life bless you. All right. Look at that. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, yeah. We're talking some serious epicness right now, baby. We are level 10. And there it is. Now, um, so it's been so long since I leveled a paladin. <laughs> Creature chance to block attacks your shield. We don't have a sh We're not really using a shield yet, but this would be where you want to go first. Obviously, we're going to go over doubt. Um, if we go into Holy Tree, we can just bump our strength up. Um, and I did determine, pretty sure that <laughs> Divine Intellect is where we'd want to go. But let's go ahead and let me pull up my uh, YouTube channel. Let's pull up my talent guide. I should have it on my Paladin. My final talent guide that I was using. And we're going to go to videos. Actually, just go to playlists. Playlists. This one. Leveling a Paladin. Come on, pause, pause, pause. And I'm going to go all the way to the last... Eh, let's go to like the level oh, seven, 71. Video 71. And hopefully at this point I was putting in my talent. Tree? No, I don't see it. So how about my last video, 74? Did I put the talent build in there? Nah. Damn it. Damn it, Julian, what are you doing? I got in the habit of putting the talent build in all my videos. Uh, here we go. There, we found a talent build. This should be fairly uh, fairly recent. So I was going, yeah, 5 of 5 on Divine Strength, which is pretty much what I thought. Now, do we want to start off going right into that? We probably do. It's only 10% increase in strength, though. So it's not like it's amazing. Whereas just one point, if you look here, um, and put one point into protection, I mean, right off the bat, it's increased your chance to walk your shield by 6%. Um... That's after being the victim of a critical strike. It's still pretty good. Um, I, I love using a shield, so I'm going to go right into readout. And now what we're going to do is we're going to hit the vendor. Open for business. Mm, yeah, we'll repair. We're going to sell this. All right, we got 26 silver. So we've got the Gladius, which does three point damage. It's, it's a one-handed sword, but we've already got a cracked sledge. Look at that. The damage is the same. <laughs> now, what about the weapon I had? Didn't I have a weapon? I think I sold it. Let's also look at the two-handed sword. I actually can use two-handed swords, I think. Oh, no, one-handed swords. 
the Gladius. And the other thing we're looking for is the two hand here is five damage. So this is 10 to 16. This doesn't seem like a lot, but it's a much faster attack speed. Now the cudgel is 2.8, but it's a 1.8 attack speed. So that's actually pretty good. So what we could do is go with the cudgel and get the, and then equip the shield. Uh, that'll make us feel like we're doing something because we're going to be swinging awfully fast, right? Cudgel is basically just a mace. And it's, it's cheaper, too. It's only 2 silver, but it's 2.8 damage per second, which isn't that great. The sword's a lot better. Um, but it's, its attack speed is quite a bit is slower, which I don't really... I'm not a big fan of. So what do we want to do? Or do we just want to go with this big-ass mallet? Um, which is 7 silver. And then just crush people with the two-handed wooden mallet. That's probably the faster way to go as far as leveling speed. Um, let's see, we'd sell this, this, and before we do anything, let's Have take a, a look one. at the armor smith. Here. Might be with you. This is 161 armor versus 61. <laughs> 161 armor, 3 block. This is 112, so this is pretty damn good. So we're going to buy this shield. Now, we're looking at 64 armor, uh, 70 armor versus 46. 58 versus 38. This is 102 versus 67. And the legs aren't any as good because we got the green ones and then the wrist, which is about the same. So let's. I think the chest might be worth buying for four silver. It all adds up. I mean, when you're doing, when you're going up in people's faces and auto tagging, it's nice to have a lot of armor. The boots are a no-brainer here. That's pretty good. Uh, let's just buy them all. I don't care. We're gonna max out our armor right now. All right. For the alliance. Oh, and now we're. Supply only the finest goods. Be so now we're gonna look at our armor, and it is uh, 467. So we're gonna equip this, equip this, equip this, equip this. We're gonna equip this shield. Now we're look at how our armor went all the way up to 723. So big improvement, right? Big improvement. Need help? And we're gonna sell the stuff that we just unequipped and get rid of this crappy shield. Get rid of this crap. Get rid of this junk. And since we're, we're going straight to the, you know, we're going with the one hand and shield. So Hello. now we have 11 silver. <laughs> uh, 3.8 damage per second, which was actually pretty good. This is five. So this is two. Let's. This is 2.8, 3.7. So it's a lot less, but let's go. Let's grab the Gladys. You know what we really want to do is uh, we want to we want to really get a See you later. a magical sword. You can get a magical one-handed sword. That would be sweet. Now we just spent all our money, <laughs> so now we might not even have enough money to train. Uh, Blessing of protection. We're gonna skip that for right now. Seal Rich is definitely. We definitely want this one. And then lay hands. We don't care. Purify. We don't care. And devotion. Devotion would be cool. Uh, so that would give us what 160 additional armor, and this one currently gives us. 55. So let's buy this one. And devotion. Be careful. All right. All right, 160 additional armor. And let's go ahead and This is giving us melee 2 day holy damage. Let's go ahead and look uh sorry, giving 2 day holy damage. So we have the update everything's up to date. And we now have 11 copper. <laughs> 11 copper. Woo! But we are now a protection paladin of some significance. Let's take a look at our block. Now, the one thing that scares me about this is our block is still only 4.76, which sucks. But after we get a critical strike chance, that moves up to about a 10% chance block after we get hit by a critical strike. Let's see what let's see who's in the guild. Let's see who is in our guild. 
Oh, we got 768 guild members. Wow. It looks like 40 is the max. All right. I wonder what the guild tavern looks like. Uh -huh. So we have a quest that we did here, and we still have a ways to go yet. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, like, going Shield Redoubt is probably the worst talent to pick right off the bat. I mean, honestly, it's probably not the way to go, but I'm like, you know what? Since I'm, I will really want, I really love using a Shield and a Sword, even though I'm going to do a lot less damage right now, probably. Oh, and I just bought a Shield that was 161. If I had known that was 161, I wouldn't have bought it. How much is it going to sell for? I don't know. 161 three block, and this is 161 three block, right? It's exactly the same. And I paid like what, like four silver, three silver? <laughs> it's all good, baby. It's all good. Ooh. I see the ants have all disappeared. That's interesting. I had all these ants on this ant poison I put down, and man, they just all, most of them took off. Maybe it's killed them all. We can only hope, right? <laughs> All right. All right. Do, 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 do. Pause the video just for one second. All right, we're back. Okay, let's go ahead and get these quests out of the way, right? Shall we? First, let's figure out if there is a way to set the max zoom. Uh, so let's see if we can figure this out. Set max. Let's see. Wow. Set max camera distance. Uh, and we want to do it on the beta. So max camera distance uh, beta. Let's see what we can see. And let's take a look. Max camera distance. Da, 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 da. I don't know if there's any of these are going to work in in the, the classic beta, but we're gonna find out. And here's one, let's try this. This is one way to do it. Couldn't find, okay, so that doesn't work. <laughs> and da, 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 da. Here's another way, let's try this one. It's funny how their their clients, you know, they always change all the time, right? Okay, that did seem like it executed a command, but it did nothing. I still can't zoom out any further. Uh, so neither of these were the right ones. So let's say, wow, classic beta set max camera distance. Uh, da -da -da. We'll just try a few more things. If none of these work, I'll, I'll just give up for now. It's not super important, but... Uh, I hate it when I hit one of these websites that just lags the hell out of me. Um, da -da -da, that's not going to work. No, that's not going to work. Close that window. Uh, doo -doo -doo. That's not going to work. It's funny, some of these are from like 2010. They're like really old. Um, you can also try this one, but I don't know if this is going to work. No, none of this works. So we're going to give up on that for now. And what we're looking for is a few bags. Take this guy out. And we're just going to use... Uh, actually, we're going to judge with that. And then we'll use Righteous. We're going to have to level up my sword, so this is going to take a little while. 
And we also would like to see when I'm blocking. So let's take the combat log out. We really to get an idea of uh, certain encounters, what what are working, what isn't working. And what happened to me? Hmm. It's not really that beneficial at the moment, fortunately. <laughs> oh, it's going to take a while for me to start killing these guys. Let's switch it to... Uh, we're going to lose an online damage, but it's a faster attack speed. will certainly probably help us. Okay. Now we can go ahead and... We shouldn't have any... We've got a few. Collector's ring... A bone collector. I don't know where the bone collector is for the concern. Guard Thomas. -ish. That should hopefully be where I'm at. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's see how long it takes me to kill this guy. We're using a seal of the Crusader with a one hand weapon. Trying to think, what would be the best place where I could make a little bit of money to maybe go? I don't know if I can go to the auction house and buy anything. We're at 43 skill. Probably gonna max out our one hand around 50, I would imagine. Let's take a look. Let's see, swords, yeah, we're at well, 55, we're at 44, so we still got a little ways to go. That'll make a big difference. Forty-five skill. There was a block, which means he critically hit me. It looks, yeah, he he procked my redoubt. So I got ten percent chance to block now. All right. So not too bad. We killed him without taking too much damage. And we look like a proper protection pal, and we got a sword and board. I would not recommend other players to level this way because this is going to slow me down because I'm using a one-hand weapon, not two. But this is just how I like to play. Okay, we got a few dodges in there, which is nice. I like getting a few dodges in. Let's throw in a heal. That fireball was specifically probably put in so that you could... Let's drag these guys over here. So that you could use it on Hogger. Mm, these guys are dodging a lot of my blows. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely too low level right now. We need about two more levels on me. So what we're probably going to do is head on over to... Yeah, well, first we're going to run for our lives because this is just too difficult for us right now. And we're level 10. So what we're going to do is we need to head to Stormwind, so we're going to run. So this did work out kind of badly for me because I... I didn't ca I didn't factor into the fa the the possibility that this is going to be really difficult, uh, too difficult for me at my level, which it kind of is. One part with the protection paladin, especially if you're doing like with me with a sword and board, is you're not really set up to burst people down quickly. I probably should go back to the two hand, but that's fine. We're, we're fine. I'm fine with this right now. It's just that I really need. Like a magical, <laughs> you need like a magical one hand. 
we're going to run to Sentinel Hill, we're going to fly to Stormwind, and we're going to take the, the tram to Iron Forge. Ah. Level 10. Uh, we might die trying to run all the way to uh, Darnassus, but we're going to find out. Ooh, the protector. Hey, Dorana. What's up, baby girl? What's up? day to you. I don't have enough money. How much does it cost? <laughs> uh, I don't even have enough money to fly. Wow. I didn't realize it was that much to fly. I gotta be honest with you. Let's see what we got here. Um... 77, what's this going to get me? 12, that's it. Hmm. Actually, how much is the one I have going to sell for? Yeah. So check this out. This shield will sell for... What are you looking for? We'll sell for 94 copper. This one sells for 91. We'll see. Oh, okay, that's fine. We'll sell this one. I thought that the, the one was. A, I thought this one was going to sell for a lot more, but just barely anymore. That should give us enough. That should give us enough to fly. Hopefully. Hello. Safe travel. Is <laughs> one silver and ten copper? <laughs> oh man. I'm sure now I have no money. What What have I got? 77 copper. I like I like the cat of water. So I was reading on in uh, PantheonMMO.com and Brad Quay, Brad McQuay, the guy who's kind of like the I don't know if he's the lead creative director or if he's just the president of the company, you know, the virtual visionary realms. Well, had a, put a nice, interesting blog post about how they've been using Unity for their MMO and how it's been a good partnership for them. And as Unity's been upgrading the game engine, and they've worked closely with with Brad or with Pantheon at least to some degree, because there aren't too many MMOs really big big MMOs um, that are really coming out that are using unity um so it's kind of like their champion for mmos you know what i mean so and brad said that unity has been pretty good for them and he's been real happy with it and they haven't like when they've come out with new versions of unity it's been pretty easy to to have you know to get their game to work on the new version without a whole lot of uh changes so 
I always wanted to use Unreal Engine for my uh, for my uh, con game concept that I've been working on, which would be a 3D game. And it, I don't really know C++ that well. I mean, I know C Sharp because I code in C Sharp all the time. I'm a developer. But C++ is a lot more, you know, I'm not as comfortable in it. And it's, you have to write a lot more code in C++. It's not as straightforward. Um, C Sharp does a lot of stuff for you. You know, it, it kind of encapsulates a lot of the functionality of the underlying, uh, you know, C, C language. So... I am, I've always said I was going to use Unreal Engine. I've gone through tutorials using, on Unreal. I've, I really like Unreal's Engine. I think it does a good job, uh, spe specifically, you know, graphically. Um, well, what else can we get rid of here? Yeah, I guess that's all right. Um, and so, but, I'm, you know, I'm just like, why make myself have to learn more? I already have to learn a lot because I'm, Learning how to use the game engine to do the you know the combat systems and all that is, is a learning curve. So why force myself to also throw the, the complexity of adding C++ on top of all that when I could use a language that I already use every day and have been using for literally the past like you know twelve years? I've been coding C sharp for probably um, gosh, it's been a, I mean it's been a long time. I would say I've been coding C sharp for at least let's see. I've been at Jable back for about four years now. Yeah, I'd say about 12 years. So I'm a pretty strong level, you know, pretty, uh, I have a pretty good, you know, experience level with C-sharp. I'm a very strong C-sharp developer. So, yeah, so I may use Unity, at least try it out. So I did download Unity today. Uh, this weekend I'm going to play around with it. Um, there's a course I want to go through on Udemy. Uh, that goes through a lot of the concepts that I want to use for my game. So I'm going to start going through that course this weekend. Oh, and I think, I think I'll be happy with it. You know, I think when I looked at Unity, you know, three, when I looked at Unity about eight years ago, it just was so, it wasn't mature enough yet. It really wasn't, you know, it was, there were a lot of things Unreal did better. And I think, you know, over the past eight to 10 years, Unity just keeps closing the gap. They just keep getting better and better and better and better graphics and better water and better, uh, you know, in-game lighting. It's still not as good as Unreal Engine, but it keeps closing the gap. As long as they can keep improving and keep closing the gap, then I would rather use Unity because I like the UI so much better. The Unreal Game Engine UI is really crappy. In my opinion, it's crappy. And because the engine's so old, there's a lot of, you know, they haven't really updated the UI. They really need to. So, anyways, we're going to head to... We're going to head to uh, Dardasus. Let's do it. Ah, we're going to make that long trek. And we should get some experience. I mean, just, you know, moving through all these zones might get us, a, you know, half a level, or maybe even more. Maybe we'll, we'll be close to level 11 by the time we step foot on Darkshore, you know, I mean, on uh, Aberdeen. Aberdeen, Darkshore. And I have no money, so the quests in Darkshore, are, I know them really well, and they're pretty easy. They're easier for, I don't want to say they're easier than the ones in Westfall, but the Westfall quests can be a little bit tricky as a melee player who's not at least a couple levels. I like to hit Westfall when I'm around level like 14, and I'm only level 10, so I, I feel I'm really about four levels too low to really quickly kind of run through the quests, you know, in Westfall. So I love to, to go ahead and hit Darkshore because there's quite a few quests in Darkshore that are pretty easy to get you. They can get you a couple quick levels. Um, even though I'd like to hit Dark Shore, I'd like, to be honest, at, like, level 11 or 12. But we'll have to make do at 10. <sighs> oh, wait, what am I doing? <laughs> did you see what I did? Oh, okay, that's correct. I'm like, man, there for a second I was thinking, uh, I just had a total brain meltdown. I'm like, am I on the right, am I on the right tram? I'm like, yeah, I yeah. am. For some reason, I was thinking I was already in Iron Forge for a second. Man, I must be really more tired than I realized. All right, well, I take the tram here. Hold on a second. I'm going to go AFK for just a second. I'm back. I was just checking uh, something. Mm, let's...
Oh, we can't even. I mean, engineer trainer is here, but I don't think I have enough money to, to even learn it. So, oh well. <laughs> but we dumped that inner lining shirt I was wearing. All right. <clears throat> I'm not sure where everybody is on this server. Since the level cap is 40, I would imagine most people are probably in s either in Stranglethorn Vale or Tenaris, you know, I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to say. It is hard to say. We do need to, well, we can't really grab the flight path because we don't have, well, I guess we can, but we need to get the connecting flight path to uh, Menethil Harbor. Can we go through here? Right here. We can. We just have to cut through. I missed my turn. Level 40. Don't, can't forget to grab our flat paths. Okay, flat path discovered, and we are at 77 copper. We are so rich. Not. Have no money. Okay, so we should have, what, 10 quests? Uh, we've got eight. So hopefully we can abandon this one because we can always pick it up. Speak with Grimond. Elmore on delivery. <laughs> We're off into the big world. Of Dun Morrow. Dun Morrow. Dun dun dun. Is five twenty six. This guy really wants to run RFK RFD. How many people are even in the guild? Let's see, that are online. There's quite a few. Let's go by uh, class, right? No, don't we see class? Guild status, class, here we go. So we've got a few paladins. Hmm, a few. That's strange. I didn't take any damage at all. I would have thought I would have taken some damage from that fall. Apparently not. <laughs> Hi, little bunny. G-H, right? Yeah, I did. I actually did spell it right. And I'm off the road here.
<laughs> Here's the mines. The mines, not the mines. And they call it the mine. The mine. Oh, you want a piece of me? Discovered Amber Seal Ranch. Ooh, what was that? Ice Claw. Time between attacks increased. Don't remember I had this bear having that attack ever before. That's something new. <laughs> Yes, Ember Steel Ranch and Morrow. It's the long walk. Yeah. Flappy bunny. to the realm. I came across hostile land I couldn't overcome. I could learn getting naked quilt a piece. Okay. You always have that that one, that person. So I tripped. So I ripped off my clothing and walked quickly to the wetlands. Well, this is obviously a, a very uh, someone who can't spell very well. But whatever. Some strange people in these online games is all I gotta say. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die, but let's... Because there's not that many players on the server, so there's not gonna be players who have run past all these mobs. So all the mobs will probably be up. So I'm pretty certain I am going to die. I have discovered the North Gate outpost. We may try it. Well, we do have we do have uh, divine protection. I may bubble. De I may bubble jump, uh, which I'll probably end up dying anyway. But you know, we'll see if we can do it without bubble jumping. But. Northgate Pass. Hmm. 
<laughs> I just... I just passed Anna. That's so funny. Yeah, I think the trip... I mean, like, what level is she? Level 12. Um, some people who are night elves would, would like to go to Westfall to do the Westfall quest around level 12. And then there's people like me who, if I'm level 10 or 12, I want to go over and do the night elf quest. So it just, it just depends on what you like, I guess. Uh, where is the... Wait, 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 wait. Am I for missing something? What am I missing? It feels like I came in the wrong direction. Yeah, I did. We need to grab this flight path over here, guys. <laughs> You've discovered Lock Modan. Should hopefully be the flight master right over here, right up ahead. I'm used to going this this trip usually from the other direction as a night off, but this time we're doing it as a human. I probably don't even really need to get this flight path because I'm not sure how often I'm gonna be in the in the beta. Well, I'll be running, coming to this exact flight point, but, you know, you never know, so we'll grab it. Need to run to the pet store and get my cat some food. I think they're just I think they ran out. They're gonna be have mutiny and come in here and tear my leg off and eat it pretty soon if I don't go to the pet store and get them some more food. They have some little treats and stuff, but I need to get them their normal food. Yeah, see, I would like to be able to zoom the camera out a little bit further, but I guess this isn't too bad. Let's do the uh, system and graphics. Let's knock up the ground clutter a little bit. And you can see it drawing. We should be able to see it. Yeah, see the ground clutter on the ground ahead of me? Should be able to see it drawing ahead. Done Al Gaz. Now, here's where we could bubble jump. But let's, because I'm, I'm a little concerned about the level 20 orcs that are through this next section. But what we can do here, if we want, is to jump right off here. And, but we're not going to. We're going to see if we can make it through. We 
must be vigilant. What's the cooldown on this? Uh, five minute cooldown. Hmm. Well, that's not too bad, I guess. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. This guy could kill me. There's not going to be anyone around. But we're just going to sneak right on by, hopefully. No, don't get stuck. <laughs> oh, we made it. Oh, we did make it. Yeah, his back turned. If he would have turned around, he would have came at me, probably. If this was a real vanilla server, like a real original, I think he probably would have would have jumped on me. Okay. Again, we can bubble jump here. Or we can walk down. Looks like I think we're safe to walk down. I don't think there's any orcs. Here. Dodge oozes, spiders. Um, oozes to my right, spiders to the left. We're looking good. We're in the pipe five by five. Yeah, we're looking good. It's really the alligators that are going to kill us. Where'd that spider go? He's just up to my left. Ah, he moved right towards the road. That means I'm going to have to move way off to the side here. And now we got to move back up because the alligators are on the right side in the water. The hardest part is when we get up around this curve up here. It's still a ways up past the graveyard, but... It can be tricky. So far, we're doing good. We're in the pipe. Five by five. Oops. I was noticing a little bit of lag there as I was turning my screen. I didn't like that, so I got rid of the ground clutter. Just a slight delay, but it was enough to that I didn't like it. Now here's the and there's a lag spike, which is not at a good time. This is where the corner that I'm talking about. This is where we can get killed. No, it's not this corner. I don't think we've quite gotten to the corner yet. Yeah, I don't see any orcs though. Normally there's oh, there's one, but normally there's more orcs here. Oh shit, I just aggroed one. Oh, fuck me. We're gonna have to bubble that. That sucks. I didn't want to waste the bubble there. One more hit, no. He should have. Yeah, he took off. I really didn't want to waste my bubble there. 
because it's the corners up here, and that's where I wanted to use my bubble. So that really sucks. I could wait five minutes, but we'll give it a go. Hopefully we'll land our stun if, if the alligator jumps on me. This is the corner I was talking about. That last one corner was not the dangerous one. This is the one where the alligators love to, to come. This one, I think it's this one. It's one of these corners, damn it. No, it's not this one. It can't be this one, it must be the one up ahead. Let me take a look. I don't think it's this one. Side of this tree. I don't know if there's more orcs over here. Yeah, we gotta go this way again. We don't want to get the orcs on us. Okay, here's the corner. It's up ahead. We don't want to get that orc. Or that orc. And the alligator's there too. Good, he's just turned his back to me, the orc. To my left. This is the corner. This is the corner where most people die when they make this run. When they're like around my level. Because this corner gets you very close to a lot of alligators. So we're gonna try to, this corner up ahead is a real, real bitch. Mm, yeah, but I'm high, I'm high, I'm high taking it, I'm taking it on the high side, but I'm not gonna be able to do it for very long, because I'm not gonna be able to get over the top of this one. Nope, this is where they come right off the water to my right, the alligators. Run, damn you, run! I don't see one. No alligators. I don't see any alligators there. That was surprising. All right, cool. Now we can uh, mainline the road, get back into the road. Just try to get right in the middle. And there's an alligator. We're okay, though. He resisted. Shit. Oh, we may die. Run, damn you! As long as he doesn't stun me. Oh, he stunned me! Heavens to Murgatroyd. Oh, that was close. So now we got two minutes on our potion. So basically, I'm not going to do anything. I can't make it without a potion or a bubble, so we need to be really careful. And wait for this alligator to turn his back. And he did. Watch out, because he's coming right at me. We turn his back again, so we're going to cut up towards the raptor. Now the raptor's turning towards me, so we're going to turn back to the right. Right through this fence. Oh, another lag sp Come on, are you kidding? Wow. I tell you what, I've had a lot more lag spikes on this beta client than I ever had on the uh, private servers I play on. That was a bad lag spike, and it could have been, it could have killed me. Oh, the tension. I can't take it anymore. Somebody give me a beer. All right. So there's some stuff to my left, some stuff to my right. We, we still have 42 seconds on potions, so if we get hit by something and, and we have to use a potion and, and they resist, that motherfucker resists my, my hammer, which really sucks. Okay, we got alligator to the left, alligator to the right. Oh shit, he's coming at me, he's coming hard. Nah, I'm good. Yeah, we make it out with if we make it without getting killed, that would be pretty sweet. I've done this so many times I'm pretty good at it, but there's always a chance you can get killed. I, the orc really kinda screwed me up because they those damn nets they have, oh those are a pain in the ass. When they root you like that? Harbor unscathed. And another lag. It's probably loading. It, it seems like it's trying to load something when it does that, but 
Yeah, it is what it is. Alright, now we have to hit the Flight Master, which should now allow us to fly to all the way to Stormwind, if we want to. We should have connected enough of the flight paths. <laughs> I do. Man, if you were... Damn it. Fucker. <laughs> Alright, so... Bing. And this guy, we should have... I yeah, see, we've got have quite a, a few one. flight paths now. Um, but we don't even have enough money to fly. We need 1.1 silver, it looks like. We don't even have that much. Yeah, but see the reflections in the water? I don't think you had as good a reflections off of the other water. Oof. Now we just have to wait for the boat. Let's change that key bind. Key binding. Miscellaneous. Where's open bags? Toggle back, back, open all bags. We're going to change this to just plain old B. Because I'm sick of hitting Shift B. I just want to open all of them. Sweetness. I thought I was a goner, man. When that uh, alligator was beating on me, I was like, I thought he might get me. And then when I was moving through past the raptors and stuff, I thought without a potion, a healing potion or a bubble, even if I just get one mob on me, I get probably dead. But we persevered through it all. World of Warcraft is the greatest game of all. <laughs> There's actually a song. Uh, wow. I think wow is a feeling or something. I'll put the link to it in the, in the description. It's so late. It, it's hilarious. I mean, it's super, you know, gay, but it's, I mean, gay isn't just kind of lame, but just because it's so gay, I guess, it's hilarious. It's just kind of funny. World of Warcraft is a feeling. It's from the Pure Onage Boys, uh, which is, they're some funny guys. It's gay, but it's still pretty funny. All right, here comes the boat. Yeah, see, the reflections are a lot more crisp with this water system. It just looks like glass almost, you know? The boat's sliding across glass, which is why some people don't like it. It's just too glassy. But I like it. I just like the way the waves move when you when you move through them in this, in this water system. Who's she talking to? <laughs> I 
Wait, wait. Enemy nameplate's turned off. Well, that's a keybind I don't want. <laughs> the V key. Um, show enemy nameplates. Here we go. Let's show friendly. Show all. Boom. Cool. So my nameplates were turned off. I knew I didn't have the enemy nameplates turned on. Look at this epic gear I have, and it all like you know, it, it all like matches because I bought it from the from the vendor. I just said, "Give me all the, give me all your white gear." Just go to Blizzard's loading screen. It says, "Have you seen the new toys?" I'm like, "I don't want to buy your damn toys, Blizzard." Another leg, another leg spike. Yeah, see, look how glassy the water looks right here. I just like the waves when you're, but man, it does look glassy. Also, my camera controls aren't right. Let's fix that. You don't want smart pivot. When I rotate the camera, oh, it's still doing it. Damn. Yeah, look how glassy it is. It's like a mirror. What can I get for you today? See you soon. We'll grab that quest. I don't know if we'll do it, but we'll grab it anyway. And let's grab this quest over here for Love Eternal, but apparently I'm not high enough level yet. And this quest is probably okay. Pleased to meet you. Be seeing you. Six crawler legs. <laughs> hmm. Well, that's different. Look at that. Vanilla WoW definitely did not do that. This is a different graphic here. I don't remember it looking like that. Looks like I'm even too low for this area. Like, see how all the quests are still kind of gray? That's just, there should be some over here, of course, but still. Yeah, we got the... Capture our bear, which we'll put right here, and we'll see how big a threat. Good luck, friend. Do that, and then we're also going to need. I guess we're not high enough level for the other one. This one will probably be too high too. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, we're going to have the the Strider Legs quest, and what else? Nope, Strider Legs Quest isn't there yet. I am listening. Then not listen. Also we're on to Fair the Highborn. And now we're at about 14 quests. We still got plenty of room for quests. Okie dokie. <laughs> Let's drop the fishing quest. I don't think I'm going to be leveling up the fishing. Which is fed this one. We we may do the fishing. I don't know. I'll think about it. Let's just do the the crawler legs first. And we are level ten. I forgot to set my hearth to Sentinel Hill, but which kind of sucks. But that's just the way it goes. Let's fly to. I don't think we have the flight path, do we? We we got this one, okay. But I don't think we're gonna be able to fly. Let's see. Farewell. Yeah, we don't have any flight kit locations, so we're gonna have to take the the boat. There's a few quests I think I might be able to pick up. A couple easy ones just to start the sea bone collection quest. So let's grab the boat.
to enlarge Marge sent you. stop the video here just right here for guys um because there's some stuff i gotta do but uh i'll come back and probably play some more probably tomorrow morning and i will just catch you guys then later